Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. It's tillage time in western Kentucky, and I'm out in the field with a Case IH 580 quad track tractor and Kuhn Kraus 16 row Gladiator 1205 strip till bar, working up 40 feet of ground per pass, preparing for the 2020 corn crop out in a 3,000 acre field. In this video, we're going to take a look at this tractor's specifications, its price tag. I'll climb up in the cab so you can see the operator's perspective of running a big four-track tractor, as well as taking a look at the results from the Kuhn Kraus Gladiator strip till bar. But first, let's head out to the field so you can see and hear all of this tillage action. Let's take a look at the specifications of this Case IH 580 quad track tractor. It's manufactured by CH Industrial at its Fargo, North Dakota plant, famous for building Steiger tractors. It is powered by an FPT 12.9 liter, 787 cubic inch engine, rated at 580 engine horsepower, with a maximum horsepower boost up to 638 horsepower, and it is rated at 473 PTO horsepower. The tractor is equipped with a 455 gallon diesel fuel tank and a 66 gallon tank for holding diesel exhaust fluid, better known as DEF, for clean engine solutions. The 580 quad track features a full power shift transmission with 16 forward and two reverse speeds. It weighs in from the factory at 53,503 pounds and can be field weighted up to 64,000 pounds. According to CaseIH.com, the list price for this tractor is $614,406. That's a big investment for a farm, but an operation like this one will put anywhere from 800 to 1,000 hours on this tractor in a single year. In addition to doing tillage work, the tractor pulls an air seeder planting soybeans and winter wheat and is used in grain cart operations for harvesting winter wheat, corn, and soybeans. strip across the field. See the 
the tractor is running at just over six miles per hour. The tractor is on auto guidance, which is totally hands-free. That's also very helpful when they come back in the spring to plant the corn crop. Using these guidance lines, the next tractor on the planter will also be able to follow right behind and put the corn right in the 16 row pan. manufactures a variety of Gladiator strip-till bars ranging from a four-row model that is 10 feet wide all the way up to a 24-row model that covers 60 feet. The model that we're looking at in the field here is a 1205 Gladiator 1630. That means it's covering 16 rows spaced at 30 inches apart in a 40-foot pass. It weighs in at 16,965 pounds. This particular unit is working down into the ground at 8 inches deep and we're going to take a look at the row units now and see all the different components that make this a very effective tillage tool. Then we'll see it fold up to a narrow 22 feet wide as it prepares to head to the next floor. Here we can see the Kuhn Krauss Gladiator row unit with its opening disc blade, the different notch blades and wavy blades to build the berm. You've got your shank that goes as far as 12 inches down into the ground to fight compaction and break up the earth and then you have your row unit here that helps create that nice berm.
Here we can see the Kuhn Krause 1205 Gladiator 1630 move from that 22 foot transport position back to the 40 foot working width. When the Gladiator is rolling down the road, it stands at 12 feet 4 inches tall, hooked onto the back of the Case IH 580 quad track. It doesn't take very long to move from transport mode to field position, and then the tractor and Gladiator are ready to go right back to work preparing the ground for next year's corn crop. As the Gladiator works across the field, we can take a look at how it's creating the strip for next year's corn crop here in the ground. It's working in double crop soybean ground that was recently harvested, so you have not only bean residue, but winter wheat stubble as well. All of this chaff does a nice job in holding the soil over the winter. And that's what the farm wants. They want this residue on the surface, but they also need to prepare their seed bed for next year's corn crop. And that's where the gladiator comes in. You can see it's working up the soil very nicely. It rained last night. And even though it's a little wet, that chain roller does a nice job in fluffing up the berm. That's what the farm wants. They want a berm out here to keep the soil intact in the strip. And we can even see an earthworm that has come up here. So you've got a lot of organic matter out here from the wheat and the soybean residue and that's just going to help the fertility of the field and the health of it over time. This 1205 Gladiator does an excellent job in working about eight inches down in the ground to break up soil compaction and loosen the soil for next year's corn crop roots to grow into. It also creates a very nice berm on the surface of the field and that will allow the soil to warm up a little bit faster and the farm will start planting corn into these strips in mid-March 2020. The farm utilizes a Case IH 2140 Early Riser High Speed Corn Planter in the spring. It seeds 16 rows of corn at a time. It follows the same 40 foot path left behind by the 1205 Gladiator in the fall. It's powered by a Case IH 380 CVT Magnum tractor and this 380 horsepower Magnum follows the same course that the 580 horsepower Quadtrack Steiger did in the fall. This is a controlled traffic pattern reducing compaction to certain points in the field and that will help the crops grow healthier and produce a better yield. And then in the fall, the farm utilizes a Case IH 9240 Axle Flow Combine equipped with a 40 foot wide 16 row corn head to continue that method of controlled traffic in the field. I hope that you've enjoyed spending some time up in the cab and out in the field with this Case IH 580 quad track working with the Kuhn Krause Gladiator 1205 strip till bar. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, I hope you'll consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there's over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. Make sure to click on the notifications bell as well so you'll know when the next Big Tractor Power video is released. New videos are coming out almost every day from the channel. 
If you have any questions or thoughts about this video, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you would like to get a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram, where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching.